Hey, this is Dave Cross to tell you a little bit about how you can move your presets, all the things you have in CS5 or CS4, and get them into CS6. Now, when we talk about presets, that includes things like brushes, swatches, gradients, patterns, all that kind of stuff. But the other thing we need to think about is things like keyboard shortcuts, custom menus, and actions, and things of that nature. Now, the good news is, in Photoshop CS6, it's much, much easier to get the main presets moved over. In fact, the first time you launch Photoshop CS6, you'll get a dialog box that says, do you want to migrate your presets? If you miss that, or if your time you said no, you can also find it here. In CS6, there's now, there used to be under the edit menu, the preset manager. Now there's a little preset menu with the preset manager, migrate, and then export and import. So we're just gonna choose migrate presets, and it's gonna say, would you like to migrate them from the following versions? And it'll look and see whatever's on your hard drive. In this case, I only have Photoshop CS5, so I choose yes it says it's done so that's it now if I go to the preset manager I should see that at the bottom of the menu here are the brush presets that I had in CS5 that have now been loaded in automatically so again that's it's fantastic that you can now move all those presets automatically because in the past you had to do it manually unfortunately we still have to do a manual process with some other things so in CS5, or if you're using CS4, if you have actions, you have to go to your actions, click on a set, and then choose Save Actions. Now what I would do is create a folder out on your hard drive, because it's going to prompt you to put it into the Photoshop Actions folder. I'd go somewhere like my desktop, make a new folder, and call it My custom stuff or something so then you can save actions into there and then you can do the same thing with any other kind of function you need to move over uh, so you'd have to go through and do this in your previous version of Photoshop save all your actions into a folder and then in Photoshop CS6 you would use the pop-up menu and choose load actions and then go and get whatever actions you had put into this folder for things like keyboard shortcuts and menus if you have a custom set of keyboard shortcuts that you have created, you can use this button. Again, you'd have to do this in CS4 or CS5. Save a new set, put them in that My Stuff folder, because you want to have it so you can move it. And then in CS6, you would do the same thing as put them into this particular folder. So you'll see that inside the Photoshop CS6 folder, there's presets. Ultimately, this is where you want to put things, actions, keyboard shortcuts, and so on. And the bottom line is when you do that, then they'll automatically appear. So in summary, the main presets, brushes, swatches, patterns, all that kind of stuff, easy to do now because of Migrate. Everything else you still have to kind of do in a manual process. So spend a bit of time in your previous version of Photoshop saving all of those things, all those custom functions like actions and keyboard shortcuts and so on into some folder then launch CS6 and load them all in. So you'll have to do it once, and then from then on, they'll be ready for you to use.